Welcome people to the World Wide Web and it's another movie review so what have I got for you this week so the first one it is Demon Slayer to the Swordsmith's Village so a very interesting movie and a very lot to go there I'll try and keep the spoilers to the end of it and we shall see it go so I've seen season one I've seen season two, as you would say, 2.1, which is the Megan Train. Really, really liked that really, really good film. Um, and yeah, and this this one come out of nowhere. I hadn't really watched anything since uh, the, the first movie. So I thought going into this, I hadn't seen the trailer, but I liked the first film. And to give people a little bit of background. So the way it is split, you had a full first series from Demon Slayer. Um, then you had the movie, a Megan Train, if I pronounce that right, that goes after it. Um, this was then converted into the first seven episodes of season two with a new episode in front of it. It then goes on to the Entertainment District arc and that is where it finishes. But what they have done is they have taken the last two episodes of the Di Entertainment District arc. And what they've done is then paired it with another kind of unseen episode. Now this, these might be the first one or two episodes of season three. Um, leading up to their new season but they've tied it in and this creates a very weird dynamic as films go so if you've seen any I don't mean most I think episode 10 and 11 of the entertainment arc have been released um, in Japan and, and you can see them on I think Crunchyroll and stuff um, and I haven't seen any of that so for me I kind of came in and, and lost a bit because the first nine episodes I kind of they kind of had ruined I mean it is a really good film. They they pace it really well. Like even if you've not seen it, like I haven't seen it, they recap like everything. First season, Mugen Train, and that they recap it all at the very beginning, and then the and then like ten and eleven are done as like episodes. So it's a bit weird in a film where you have like credits at the beginning and at the end of like every twenty minutes. Like what's going on? But yeah, ten and eleven. They they depict the fight, the final fight between um, obviously uh, I've got the names because I was getting wrong. Tanjiro. Uh, Isanuke, uh, Zetsu, um, and Kaijura, no, Kaijura, so Tengen. Um, so they're fighting against the Upper Five, which is a brother and sister combination. So yeah, it depicts the final fight of that. That ends. Obviously, I'm not going to say too much at this minute, um, but yeah, it ends, and then obviously they have to recuperate, and then Tanjiro, he's unfortunately damaged his sword, and then he has to be taken to this uh, mystical village to get a new one, um, even though it's only chipped, but he can't know where it is, and it's on this, uh, or when he gets there, he meets uh, Missouri, and it's got the, the scene I've seen on the animes of where she comes out of the bath and her hair is just, just covering the the vital bits so to speak it's, it's drawing it don't really bother me um yeah and then it's just him and then it's tanjiro he meets one of the other disciples the earlier slayers with all the scars and that that he did in the academy and then there is a preview at the very end of it of season three and then it showed i think it shows you kind of like the intro at the back so it's very weird because a natural progression of a story you've normally have story starts you start building on it it builds to a final fight and then after the final fight there is maybe a little bit of follow-up and this kind of reverses all of that you have the final fight at the beginning then it's kind of story building just to preview season three and it, it was really good as i say I, I i left the cinema wanting more even and the way and it, the fighting is really really good and how it's drawn and the animation style i am i've not been unimpressed with anything I've seen of Demon Slayer and I quite like the fact they are incorporating the movies and stuff into the series like it is canon like a lot of other ones like I'm a big Naruto fan and the stories do relate to worlds that go could be off screen so it could be related but you never kind of focus it whereas like season one ended and they're getting on the Mugen train and then you had the movie and got to experience all of that and I mean I was happy for them to have that and then do a season two but I assume with Covid and everything else it limited what they could do and that's why they've tied it in as 2.1 the voice acting is good I saw the subtitled version so it, I mean I've watched most of it with dubbed so subtitled didn't mind reading it it was good I mean the only thing is at the very beginning there's one quick uh recap that they kind of do about Tanjiro and the first 
paragraph is so fast I couldn't read all of it before it swapped to the next bit and then the next bit was there a really really long time that's my only little nitpick of it um, but yeah really good um, actually I'll try and keep it as spoiler free as I can now I think we won't include so if you enjoy it as I say I really enjoyed it I really like the saying I've not been disappointed how Demon Slayer has been and I think for an anime it is one of the most kind of realistic um, real world type animes and what I mean is by that is if you've gone by Dragon Ball gone, you have these massive epic fights and all this stuff and in this and in, if you haven't seen Mugen Train I'm going to have a bit of spoiler there so in Mugen Train there is Kajiro if I pronounce his name right he's the flame guy he gets killed um, they're not afraid of killing people off people get injured and in this one they get injured and they say the time like they've been unconscious two months you know weapons get injured you have to do this and there is even in this one limbs are severed and stuff like this from people and they kind of link that you know the main characters aren't necessarily as hurt as you you know like the naruto and like, they get injured they go to sleep for a few months and wake up but other people are injured and then they retire and like obviously the slayer from the first one obviously he got killed and there's a position and i quite liked that um, obviously the story was inverted but even that gap you got to see the higher ups and you got to meet them and there is even a, a dream Tanjiro has and he meets I, it, I assumed it was him it could have been his dad that meets number the upper one or the upper one has met his dad and that's what Tanjiro is dreaming because they never linked that but there are very similarities between number one and Tanjiro which opens up a big 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 possibly spoiler of who that demon is but it was interesting to see all of those sides and say and it, it's going at a steady pace i mean it's been out there i think four or five years it's been around maybe a little bit longer um because mugen train was a few years ago now um and even only gone from the minors the lower to the upper ones you've still there's still a lot of room to go and i like that they're in incorporating each characters as we go as i say from Mugen Train, we had uh, Jiru, Kairo, Jairo, however you pronounce him, and then obviously in this district, uh, in the district, uh, the entertainment district art, you have Tenjin and his art, and then since that, obviously, we've now met up with Missouri, and we've got, and we're getting different characters, and you get more time to go with those, and I'm really liking it. Um, I mean, honestly, 7 out of 5, 7.5 out of 10. Definitely a good thing. If you love anime, if you love Demon Slayer, I don't think this disappoints. If you've seen the series already, just be prepared that obviously at all the district entertainment you've seen episode ten and eleven, you're gonna recap that in the first half of this film. But it is it is done really really well, and even in a world where you have heroes are fighting demons, they still manage to humanize stuff and that. And I I really like. I really like all of that. So yeah, so obviously this has been my review for Demon Slayer to the Swordsmith's Village. Um, and I, I will see you in the next one. Signing out.